And you guys, I have good news and I have bad news. I think I have decoded the Tortured Poets Department to the best of my abilities in less than 48 hours. I'm sure there is more to come and more that I will learn. All of us were shocked when we started realizing these songs did not sound like Joe Alwyn. And we started realizing a lot of these songs were about Maddie Healy. If you don't know who and Joe and Maddie are, I have a highlight in the TTDP highlight on my page. But we were shocked to learn it was about Maddie. Why is it about Maddie? Well, here is what we need to know. Because we were all confused. Like, oh, she was only with him for a couple weeks. A fortnight, likely, which means two weeks, by the way. Anyways, how could this have been so impactful for her? So let me tell you, we have to read. So there's a prologue in her album, okay? And this is what it says. With a summary of my findings, a debrief and detailed rewinding for the purpose of warning and for the sake of reminding. As you might all unfortunately recall, I had been struck with a case of restricted humanity, which explains my plea here today of temporary insanity. She's literally making a plea of temporary insanity saying, yes, I was with Maddie, but it was because I was temporarily insane. You see, the pendulum swings, oh, the chaos it brings. So the pendulum from super safe, committed relationship to this like wild child man, oh, the chaos it brings, leads the cage beast to do the most curious things. We know based on her time article, she said she felt like she was caged up in a house for years. And she did that with Joe because that's what he wanted. He felt safer out of the public eye. But we know that's likely the demise of their relationship is that she eventually, and she stayed with him. One of the saddest lines is when she says she feels like she wasted her youth on him. So you have to imagine this woman who really believed she was fully in love and believed that they would get married and end up together and that they would have kids together. And then it didn't happen. And as it fell apart, she has this temporary insanity where she goes back to a guy she had known years before Joe. They likely, based on what I'm understanding so far with the song so far, I think that they had some kind of thing going years ago and that it didn't work out because drugs and possible cheating and whatnot. And then so she went to Joe and she has a song called Fresh Out the Slammer where she says, I'm, I know who I'm immediately going back to. She went right back to him. And then I think this album is her realizing, okay, I realize I went a little, like I went a hundred miles an hour in like the most chaotic, problematic direction. And now I'm just making a plea of my temporary insanity. I think their relationship was way more complicated than we ever knew it to be, which I'm kind of proud of her in a lot of ways that none of us had any idea what was going on. And that's great that she was able to keep that relationship pretty private as well. But it's so interesting. And I think it helps us understand better. Like she, I feel like this album is kind of like an ode to how much she loved Joe and how much this relationship meant for her because of how extreme the pendulum swing was to this Maddie guy. And there's also, so I also think my sister said this and I would agree, the mad songs are about Maddie and the sad songs are about Joe. She felt so sad and so much heartbreak and so much devastation. As far as I can tell, I think there is like no proof of cheating from Joe. I think it's just his inability to make a decision. And I think that is what broke her by the end because she waited for so long. So that is what I think is happening what do you think?